salt let's talk about salt on a vegan or raw vegan diet do i eat it and do i recommend it when i first went raw vegan i did not do any salt at all i was no salt for years because i was reading these books and watching these youtube videos to people talking about salt and how it's bad for you and how you should avoid it at all costs so i did I cut out all salt and when you're eating a raw vegan fruitarian diet like just tons of fruits and vegetables you don't really feel the need for having salt i mean i didn't at least i had no need for salt and so I didn't have it. And then whenever I would have some, like if it was like in a gourmet raw dish or something, I would notice the effects of it. I'd wake up in the morning a lot puffier with water retention. My weight would go up and then I'd have to sweat out all the salt again and kind of reset myself. And so by not having salt then adding salt, the body would be negatively affected. And so then I started to realize that, oh, this is what all those raw fooders were talking about, how salt is bad because it creates this negative effect of water retention. Then I started having more salt more regularly, and I realized that it was affecting me less and less. And I realized that I didn't feel bad if I had salt. I actually felt fine. And there was still, like, most of my raw life was, was no added salt because I was just eating fruits and vegetables and drinking a lot of coconut water. So I was getting my sodium naturally through celery and coconut water and other fruits and vegetables. But then when I started adding in some cooked food, I realized that I needed salt. Like the cooked food was completely bland without salt. And adding in a little bit of salt on my dishes, now when I have cooked food, it doesn't negatively affect me at all. But I just think it's interesting to note how on a raw fruit-based diet, when your fruit is high quality, you don't need to add salt to it. It's delicious. But cooked food, you have to add salt to it because it's so bland without it. Like you don't have a plain bowl of rice or a plain potato without salt usually. Most people always add some form of salt whether it's in the sauce or whether it's just a dash of salt, whatever, it's always salt to be added to cooked food. And I don't think you need to be worried about salt at all. I'm not worried about salt at all. I have I have some sea salt, I have some rock salt, uh, different types of salts, and uh, I don't feel make any negative effect at all from having salt in my diet. But if I wanted to lose a lot of weight or not a lot of weight but if I want to lose weight a bit quicker like let's say I had a photo shoot coming up in a couple weeks and I want to look extra shredded for a photo shoot or it was my wedding day and I want to look extra lean for my wedding day or, or I was going to the beach and I had to look shredded for the beach or whatever if I want to lose an, an extra two to three pounds fairly quickly I would cut out salt for sure I would do no salt for uh, for a couple weeks and my body would then get rid of any excess water retention caused by the salt but that's just a temporary little aesthetic thing. It's, uh, it's not necessary. People still look lean with salt, but uh, they'd look even leaner if they cut out salt. But it, there's, no, there's no negative health effects to adding a little bit of salt on your food. You can be totally fine with that. Totally, totally fine with that. So wouldn't worry about that. Uh, same goes for any, 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 like, if you have like a little bit of salt or a little bit of refined sugar or a little bit of oil, like you're fine. It's not going to mess you up. You don't need to be so freaking OCD about it. I mean, you can be if you want, if that's your style, fine. But like, it's like people getting like fed up with like a little bit of dust on the counter. Like, oh my God, there's dust. They freak out there's dust inside. Like, it's just a bit of dust. Don't worry about it. Um, but that's just me. That's just my style. It's just my approach. Like, it's just a little bit. Don't worry about it. Obviously, you don't want to be overdoing it because... Then there's going to be repercussions, but a little bit of salt, you're going to be fine. Same goes a little bit of oil, a little bit of refined sugar, you're going to be fine. It's not going to kill you. You got other things to worry about. Like you, if you if you're worried about that, <laughs> then uh, one area of life that you probably want to work on is just relaxing and letting go, and maybe increasing your your uh, amount of time you spend meditating each day and doing some breath work just to relax each day, because uh, that's going to allow you to live a lot longer and a lot better life if if you're able to stay calm and stay relaxed so that's that eat salt if you enjoy it but when you're on a raw vegan fruitarian diet you probably don't need to add any salt you're going to be just fine and if you're eating cooked food then add a bit it's all good cheers peace ciao bye